so the heater on this scaling what we're looking at here is it's a Pentair master temp I love these heaters uh, the only issue is is they do have a problem with scale especially where you have uh, really hard water from you know uh, hard well water that sort of thing it has a tendency to build up also if you don't pay attention to your water chemistry so right here we have the connections that were hooked up to the heater so I disconnected these and since these are kind of suspended typically you want to make sure that there's not much of a drop in them you'd want to support them but I'm doing plumbing at this job too so I'll, I'll be addressing that later but right here is my setup of how I descale these heaters and basically what we're looking at here is I took a just your sump pump you're gonna buy from Home Depot just one, one of those little guys and I hooked up a garden hose and a um, couple couplings and this is I had bought another pair of master temp couplings you can also tee into the existing plumbing but um, since I do a lot of these and there's not often room for plumbing what I do is I disconnect the heater there also the gas line which I'll cap uh, just so I can move the heater a little bit and I hook up the coupling and I, I do a mix of right around e either four or three to one parts water to one part acid so I put three to four gallons of water in there dump in a gallon of acid and then I just pump it through and so it's going in this way and then I use a, another uh, master temp coupling and just some flex pipe and I just circulate it and it just I, I'll let it run for a few hours at this job I also got a few sand changes to do in those sand filters and I got to replumb some of the R2D2 there the uh, uh, in floor cleaning manifold we call them R2D2s just because I don't know they look futuristic or whatever so anyways um, so I got some time to kill so this guy while the water started out clear we have a lot of bubbling and it starts to turn a little uh, gray or green and it's starting to break it up I'll run it for a few hours and then uh, I'll, after I'm done I'll circulate fresh water through it and then I'll start it up and if it's if it doesn't work, I can either do it again or go a little more in depth with it. But when it comes to descaling the heater, this is the setup I use right here. All right, thank you. Bye.